my channel. Thanks for coming back. Um, I told you I would be back with something else, and I'm back. I'm not gonna draw the talking part out too long, but um, I'm back. Here I am, ready for another one and another one. Okay, so today I'm gonna be making a no sew tutu. It's real simple. It's gonna be cute, and it's just something easy to do. So we're gonna get right into it. Let me tell you what I'm gonna use first. So first, I have three different colors of tulle, okay? I got like the aqua blue, purple, and pink, right? So these two colors are gonna be like my main colors of my tutu. And this color is just gonna be like a highlight. So you're gonna see some of this here and there. So I got the tulle. Of course, I got scissors because I need something to cut with. And I got headbands that I just got from the Dollar Tree. Nothing special. I actually have, have made a tutu before and I actually like the bigger bands because it's, you know, able you able to make it more fuller, but this don't have to do today and I'm gonna try to make it as full as I can because I like what it's more full. So that, and then you're gonna need something, obviously to put the headband around so you could work around when you put the tool through. So what I was thinking was, I'm gonna use my little like mannequin head, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, if I remember, I'll put a picture in here somewhere. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna use my little mannequin head. And then I realized I don't have that on my person where I'm at. So that's no go. So instead of that, I'm gonna be using this box. Mm-hmm. Work just just to do it. You'll see. Then um, oh, and then you're gonna need something to measure with. Now. You're gonna see how I'm gonna use this to measure it, and I'm also gonna use this to um, wrap my tool around to get the measurements that I need to get the tool at the right length. So I'm gonna be actually doing this at the, for the length of my daughter. She's six. So y'all see all that in the video, and um, yeah, we'll just go from there. All right, let's get started. Okay, so right here I'm just using this board to kind of get the length that I'm gonna want and. Of course, that that length is going to be in half, so that's why I kind of go a little bit longer because it's going to be about that short. So now I'm taking the tool. This is the length I want, so I'm taking the tool and wrapping it around the board. Now, I do this as many times as I feel like it or until I get tired. I don't really count. I just do it and do it, and then if I need more, I just do more. So now I'm just grabbing the first color of tool that I want and I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm showing you how to just do it with your hand and in the next one I'll be showing you how to do it with a crochet hook and if you don't know what that is I'll also show you what that is as well. So basically I'll just put it through the hole, put the um, two ends through itself and then boom here's a closer look but this is with the crochet hook right here. Same. Same exact technique, except you're using the tool one and the other one you're not. Okay, right here I'm just showing you one more time for a better look of how to do it. With your hand, you just push it through, open a little hole, and then you go ahead and pull the rest through. And tighten it up and don't make it too tight but don't have it too loose so you you, you got to get the happy medium up in that somewhere you know what I'm saying and I'm gonna show you one more time with the hook as well very easy and I'm gonna be using the hook the rest of the video cuz girl I'll get right through it okay same thing though boom pull it through get it tight boom now I should have made that one a little bit tighter but it's okay it's okay
all right so now this is my last and final row i did three rows total this row i'm just doing the knotless technique the only difference is you just pull one string through or one leg through like i'm doing while leaving the other one out and then boom you just have it now make sure you pull that knot like down like like there make sure you pull it down otherwise it's just gonna be the same thing as the other was just a knot the different way and you see the difference here i'm showing you the difference of the knotless compared to like the regular way where you can see the knot and so i just do that knotless way all the way around but i only do that on the on the top on the top i don't do that all the way through i mean you can but it's just like why okay Welcome back to my channel. Thanks. What's up, YouTube? Welcome. 